Hey guys, welcome to the Fury Time channel. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. If you really enjoy the content, then please subscribe to my channel and keep watching the videos. If you are subscribed, then receive notifications about the release of new videos. You do not even have to look for anything personally. I really want to get 300 subscribers on my channel. And drink very hard absolutely every day and I need your support. Your likes, comments, repost to social networks. Thanks for supporting me, guys. The famous British boxer Tony Bellew said that he doesn't consider his competitor Tyson Fury as a lineal heavyweight champion. The Gypsy King likes to ascribe this title to himself. But Bellew is convinced that Lennox Lewis is still the linear champion of the Royal Division. I think what Fury has done is amazing. But you can't end your career every 5 minutes other than say you're coming back. It's funny, because now I don't hear the words linear champion anymore. Is Fury no longer a linear champion or is he still linear? I don't know. In my opinion, the linear champion is Lennox Lewis. He didn't finish his career as often as Tyson Fury. Lennox Lewis retired once. And Tyson Fury retired twice. So who will we give preference to here? I'm just laying out the facts, Tony Bellew said. The head of the top-ranked promotion company Bob Arum claims that he initially understood that Eddie Hearn would not allow Tyson Fury to fight Anthony Joshua. As soon as the issue with the distribution of the fee was resolved, there were no serious problems left. It was possible to sit in a room for three hours and finally deceive everything. But Eddie Hearn refused to do it. I think it was terrible on his part, because I know that Frank and George Warren, our partners from Queensbury, were ready to personally meet with Eddie Hearn and coordinate everything. There was no reason to disrupt the fight. But one promoter didn't want him and started slowing everything down, which in my opinion is reprehensible. I knew Eddie would find a way to sabotage this fight. Isn't that funny? Bob said the fight was going to happen, so it's not my fault. What are you talking about? Sit in a room with Frank Warren and his son George, fix a couple of problems and average a fight. But there is no one left in Eddie's table, so he clings to Joshua as the only attractive fighter, Arum said. The head of the top-ranked promotion company Bob Arum again accused Eddie Hearn of disrupting the Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua fight. Hearn wanted to kill this fight because even if everyone had gathered on Monday, sat in the room and finished everything, the fight could have been arranged in a couple of hours. It's really sad because I believe that both fighters wanted the fight to take place. The first problem was that there were different translators in Worldwide. Therefore, a meeting took place and, lo and behold, all the broadcasters signed all agreements and find a way to do it. Now Mr. Hearn intervened and he didn't want the fight to take place from the very beginning, so he slowed him down. I've been in this business for almost 60 years. So I can tell you that if someone doesn't want something to happen, then they slow down the negotiations, Bob Arum said. The former heavyweight champion of the world, American Dante Wilder, told with what weight he plans to fight against Finn Robert Hellenius. At some time, Dante admitted that he made a mistake when he gained weight before the third fight with the British WBC title holder Tyson Fury, about 220 pounds. Weight is not something we will worry about in this fight or in future fights. We gathered a lot of weight for the last fight and everyone was wondering how I would handle it. It was also interesting for me to see how I would box with such a weight. Now I have decided to return to what I am used to and what I am comfortable working with. 220 pounds or so. That's my optimal weight, Wilder said. Thanks for watching guys, if you like this video please subscribe to my YouTube channel.